What up guys, Kevin here with a very, very special Take a Bite Pizza Review. This is a show where I take a bite of a pizza and review it. And today we're doing, wait, hold up. That's not a brand of pizza. What pizza company is this? So I just went to the grocery store, picked up some pizza ingredients and made it myself. And here it is. This is it. Now, I like to do this a few times a year. Grab, you know, some crust, sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Make my own pizza. I think it's healthier. This is the healthiest pepperoni pizza that you can buy. I'm about to go to the gym. This is my pre, pre-workout pre meal. I guess that's what people do. My post-workout meal. It's going to be tacos. Don't worry. Don't worry. I go hard at the gym. I like to go really hard. There's no leg day. There's no leg day. Every time I'm at the gym, it's leg day. It's everything day. So I need to eat this whole thing to get my energy. And looks good. Now, my only worry is I just grabbed crust. Now, I bought this from a few videos back. My awful trip to the grocery store. I ranted where everyone was in my way. I just couldn't shop. So <laughs> the crust here was just a, oh, my God, get out of my way. And I just reached over and grabbed the random crust classic thin and crispy i was like yes you can't mess up a thin crust pizza you just can't but vegan pizza crust what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean vegan pizza crust now i'm worried if this pizza sucks it's because of this word vegan but it looks good it looks good sorry about the shaky cam there um the way i make it just take the crust um Cheap, everything here is the cheapest I can get. Maybe I could have saved a buck or two if I got baboli crust. I don't know. Again, people were in my way. I just reached over to someone and grabbed it. Um, but the cheese, the store brand mozzarella cheese, I think store brand pepperonis, and even store brand red pepper flakes, and store brand sauce, or really cheap sauce. I don't think it's store brand. Something about marinara and pizza sauce. The cheaper it is, the more delicious it is. The more expensive it is. I find they just try to get too fancy with um, herbs and spices and everything else. No, I just want plain and consistent pizza sauce. Is there a difference between pizza sauce and marinara sauce? I don't know because I bought marinara and pizza sauce. Did I need to really buy both? But I did. <laughs> oh, ragu. Um, yeah, just cheap everything. So light sauce. And then I dumped a bunch of red pepper flakes on the sauce. Then cheese. There's not very, it's not very cheesy. I don't like too much cheese. Too much cheese. I saw the Asmund Gold video where he, he thinks people are stupid if you eat cheese while he went on to put more cheese on his Totino's pizza. Hmm. Maybe he's saying something about himself. But very light cheese. Still a decent amount. And then two pepperoni per slice. Something, uh, the grossest feeling is that pepperoni bag, just how greasy it is. And. I don't put it in the fridge, not until I open it. It's just something, that warm temperature grease. Ooh. <laughs> so I need to burn this grease off. You know the rules. We're going to take a bite, review it. Again, it's my pizza. Am I going to be biased? Maybe a little. But if it sucks, it sucks. I will I'll call it like it is. All right. Oh, it might be sticking to the... There's the underside. It came like that. I don't act like I put grill marks on it. No, it comes like that. I don't even know if this is the right side. Maybe that's the side I'm supposed to put the toppings and everything on. All right, let's take a bite. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. That... That red pepper flake just kicks in at the end and just mm, just gives me a kiss. Just it gives me a kiss of taste. I love it. Pepperoni's good. Everything's good. But yeah, the the crust here, the vegan crust, tastes a little lifeless. It gets the job done. It's just like, hey, I'm here to be crust. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. It's crust. It gets the job done. I do have my Ken's Ranch dressing for the rest, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good bite. That was a pretty good... I feel like I'm going to eat... 
what is this, like 14 inches? It's a decent sized pizza crust. But, you know, since I went light on toppings, this is the most healthy you can do for a pepperoni pizza. Just go light. I'm going to eat it. Made me feel a little gross. But again, I'm going to the gym to get the gross out. Um, yeah. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 7.7. 7. 7.7. 7. 7. I think the crust was a little lifeless. The sauce, it's good. Everything's good. You know, again, it's better ingredients, better pizza. You can only do so much with the grocery store the way I'm doing it. Sure, I can go to a butcher and, you know, get a fresh cow or fresh whatever, fresh pig for the meats and cheeses and whatnot. But this is just, you know, I think altogether five or six bucks. And I still got another crust here. They give you two. Not bad. Not bad. 7.7. 7. I, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to forget about it. It's going to be 8 p.m. I'm not even going to remember this pizza. I'm not. That's what I love about it. That's what I love. Maybe if I got, like, a thicker baboli crust, maybe I'd be like, whoa there, buddy. But I don't think this is more than 1,000 calories. I don't know. How many calories is it? Um, per crust, 440. 440 per, per crust. Maybe the pepperonis is another couple hundred. Cheese, mozzarella's, I think pretty light. Yeah. This is probably like 800 calories. And then I got strawberry mango seltzer. That's how I roll. Yeah, 7.7. .7. Thank you guys for watching. Maybe I'll do this again. Maybe I'll do a breakfast pizza next time. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.